Hello everyone. This is a quick video showing you how to diagnose faulty PCIe data lanes using this Palette RTX 3070 as an example. Before I start, if you'd like to send me a GPT repair, contact me on Discord. I will leave my username in the description, along with links to repair.wiki and GPU repair subreddit. Okay, this Palette 3070 here was used for mining. The owner said that they have inserted the riser backwards, which led to the card not being detected at all. But let's say you got this card with unknown history, and you have no idea what happened to it. How can you identify this? And is it actually fixable? Well, you're about to find out. It's worth noting that this applies to all graphics cards. As always, you should start by checking for any physical damage. Look very closely for broken off components because this will save you a lot of troubleshooting time later. This card did not have any damage, so I will proceed to the next step, which is checking resistances of all voltage rails. Starting with 12V bus. Three point three five volts one point eight VMEM and PEX. As you saw, none of them were shorted. On newer cards, V core is less than one ohm so it's generally useless to check its resistance. After confirming there are no shorts anywhere on the card, you can be sure it's safe to turn on. You can plug it directly to the motherboard, but I find it much better to use a riser, because it makes it easier to work on and move around. This is where you perform voltage measurements. Notice that the order of the rails I check is the order in which they turn on, meaning that if, for example, 5 volts was not present, this means every voltage that turns on after it will not turn on. So it's a good idea to go through them in order. And as you can see, all the voltages are working as they should. At this point, if nothing else is wrong with the card, it should output a picture. If it doesn't, this means that the card um, has a problem with the BIOS, memory, car itself, or rarely straps or crystal oscillator. This card does not output a picture and is not detected in Windows or Linux. At this point, the next thing to do is to check if the BIOS is being accessed by the core or not. You can probe the first pin of the BIOS chip called chip select. During initialization, the core pulls this pin low when it's trying to read or write from the BIOS chip. You can simply measure the voltage on it and see if it dips. On this GPU, there are two BIOS chips and neither is being accessed. This rules out memory and straps being the issue, since those problems would still let the core access the BIOS and the card get detected. So what now? We can check the crystal oscillator. It's very rare that it will stop working, but it is possible. You do need an oscilloscope that can measure frequencies higher than 30 MHz to be able to see it. I will show you how the signal looks like. And as you can see, it's working as intended. So what could be wrong? You can tell that the GPU is not communicating with the rest of the system, which indicates an issue with the data lanes for the PCIe connector. This is how you can tell if they are okay or not. Using diode mode on your multimeter, measure those two pins to ground. They should both be the same value. And as you can see, the first pin is open line, whereas the second reads 1.8 volts. How can this happen? Well, let me show you. Here is a schematic view of the PCIe slot and the U1X riser connector. This is what happens when you connect the riser backwards. The first pin of the output differential pair gets connected to 3.3 volts, which is sent directly to the core, shorting it internally. So what can you do about it? Well, that line is forever gone, but this does not mean that the card can't work again. 
What you can do is modify a riser so that the card can run from the 16th lane instead. In many cases this will work, but apparently this card got exposed to 3.3 volts so much that it affected the entire core. Here is how you should modify the riser to work like that. Make sure to cut the traces going to the 1x data lanes too. Unfortunately this card was not repairable, but now you know how to potentially make a card that has a dead PCIe lane work again with a modified riser. Thank you for watching, and as always, I hope you learned something.